Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me today for this 30 minute Pilates workout. So when you're ready, standing nice and tall with your feet hip distance apart, inhale, sweep your arms up, interlace your fingers. Exhale, side bend over to your left. Feel free to close your eyes here, taking a nice deep breath. Then inhale back through center, exhale side bend over to your right, feeling a nice release through the left side of your body. And inhale back through center, release your arms. Now making sure that your feet are hip distance apart in parallel, let's find our Pilates posture by pulling our navel in towards our spine and then sweep your arms past your hips. Inhale, sit your hips back, finding your low squat and exhale, press through your heels to come up. Three more, so inhale, sit your hips back, weight into your heels, reaching your arms by your ears and exhale, press up, two more. Making sure here that we're keeping our Pilates posture by pulling our navel in towards our spine, keeping our back nice and long. Last one here, let's hold in our low squat now and take little pulses down and down. We do 10 of these. Option to bring your hands into prayer, keeping your spine nice and long. Let's do four more, four, three, two, and one. Hands to the tops of your knees, roll your spine up to standing vertebra by vertebra. From here, let's come into a lunge now. So take a big step forward with your right foot and your left foot back, coming up on the ball of your back foot. Find your Pilates posture, arms sweep back, inhale, lunge down, exhale, press up. So inhale as you lower, Exhale as you press, keeping your spine as straight as you can, moving like an elevator here. Making sure that your right knee is stacked over your right ankle and that you're slightly tucking your hips under so that you find a nice squeeze through your left glute. Good, couple more here. Waking up our legs. And last one, let's hold low in our lunge and pulse it out. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and a one. Hold low in your lunge here. Extend your back leg and let's reach forward, hinging from our hips, finding a nice long line. Tap your left toe in and then tap back as you pull your elbows wide in towards your waistline. Six more, exhale, tap. Inhale, tap back. Elbows pull, arms reach forward. Four more, exhale. And inhale, strong standing leg here. Good job, last one and release lift your chest let's switch sides now so take a big step back with your right foot left foot is forward preparing for our lunge pilates posture reach your arms back inhale let's lunge down with control and exhale press up really powering through your legs here to press out of your lunge you have six more making sure that your left knee is stacked over your left ankle, that you're keeping your spine nice and straight. Good job, everyone. Last one. Let's hold low in our lunge now and go back to those little pulses. So you pulse down and down, keeping your spine super straight three, two, and one. Good job. Let's extend our back leg now. Hinge forward from our hips and tap your right foot in and back. So exhale as you tap the foot in, inhale as you tap it back, as your elbows pull wide into your waistline. 
keeping your left leg nice and bent super strong through that left leg spine nice and straight and abs pulled in well done lift your chest and release walk your feet wider now so they're mat distance apart and your toes are turned out belly button in towards your spine arms sweep back inhale sit your hips low finding your squat exhale press out we do eight of these so this time our feet are a little bit wider our toes are turned out so we're able to sit our hips back a little bit further so shift a little bit more weight back into your heels really sending your glutes back but still finding length through your spine so remember we're trying to keep our pilates posture belly button in towards our spine and reaching our arms by our ears on your next one, let's add three pulses at the bottom. So you pulse down, two, three, press up, four. So you pulse down, two, three, press up, four. Two more of these. This is a really great way to fire up our glutes, fire up our legs and get everything nice and warm and ready for our workout today last one let's hold a low in our squat and just pulse it out down and down really shift your weight back weight into your heels last three last two last one good job hands on tops of your knees let's roll ourselves up to standing and walk to the back of your mat now feet are hip distance apart inhale sweep your arms up exhale forward fold hinging from your hips Keep a soft bend through your knees here and holding on to opposite elbow with opposite hand. Take a moment here to just sway side to side. Maybe shake your head, yes or no. Whatever feels good for your body at this point. Then place your hands on the mat or walk your hands forward and find your strong plank position. So shoulders over wrists, belly button in towards your spine and hips tucked under inhale press back bend your knees finding your downward facing dog and exhale shoot forward back to your high plank so inhale press back bend your knees really pushing through your shoulders and exhale shoot forward two more inhale press back exhale shoot forward strong abdominals last one inhale and exhale good job hold in your plank here take a nice inhale then exhale tap your right knee down inhale extend exhale left knee taps inhale extend so just tapping one knee at a time down to the mat but keeping everything else still so keep pressing through your shoulders, keep your hips at the same height. Let's tap both knees down now. So exhale, both knees tap, inhale, extend. Exhale, tap, inhale, extend. Whew. This is really getting our core nice and fired up. Last one. Good job, lower your knees down, uncurl your toes and lower yourself all the way down to the front side of your body inhale roll your shoulders back lift your chest finding a nice cobra position taking deep breaths here releasing through the front of your body and exhale release down inhale press yourself up exhale child's pose Let's take a moment here to just tune into our breath, taking nice deep inhales and exhales. Hopefully you are feeling nice and warm now. So let's come on to our glutes, bend your knees and just holding on to the backs of your thighs. Inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale, roll your spine back vertebra by vertebra until you come down onto your back. 
Finding your imprinted spine with your lower back pressed into the mat, lift your legs to tabletop position and release your arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, extend your right leg down to the mat, reaching your left arm overhead and inhale back through center. Other side, exhale, left leg extends, right arm reaches back, inhale back through center. Keep going. Making sure that every time that you reach your leg long and your arm back, that you're keeping your lower back in contact with the mat. Taking a nice exhale through your mouth as you reach your leg and your arm long and inhale through your nose as you bring it back up. So it's really important in Pilates that you try to focus on your breath as much as you can. So pairing your breath with your movement. Good. Last one. Now holding your legs in tabletop, let's lift our head and shoulders. Reach your hands by your hips. Let's do 100. So inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Now you can keep your legs in that tabletop position or extend your legs up towards the ceiling and rotate your thighs outwards. Keep going, nice deep breaths. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Nice big inhales through your nose and exhale out through your mouth. Make sure here that your chin is tucked in towards your chest. Your shoulders are relaxed, as relaxed as they can be when your abdominals are on fire. And just focus on your breath here. You've only got a few more. You can do it. Keep breathing. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Last one, you can do it. Breathe it all out and hug your knees in. Whew. That one definitely wakes up your abdominals and your whole entire body. Let's now extend our legs long and reach your arms by your ears. On your inhale, reach your hands towards your hips, tuck your chin in, roll yourself up. Exhale, round over your legs, pulling your belly button back towards your spine. Inhale, roll back down with control and exhale, arms sweep overhead. Again, inhale, roll up. Exhale, round forward. Inhale, roll yourself back down with control and exhale, arms reach overhead. You have two more of these. This is a really great exercise, not only for our abdominals, but also for our spine. It should almost feel like a nice little massage for your back. Last one. Make this the best one yet. Really reach over your legs and roll down with control. Exhale, arms are last to reach back. Good job. From here, bend your knees, make sure your feet are hip distance apart, find your imprinted spine with your lower back pressed down into the mat, hands behind your head, elbows wide, lift your head and shoulders, chin tucked in. Extend your left leg long, exhale, pull right elbow to left knee, and inhale, extend the leg long. So exhale, twist, and inhale back through center working into your obliques here. Try to keep your elbows nice and wide and your chin tucked in. Last one. Now hold your left leg extended. Pull your right knee in towards your chest and hug your right knee with your hands. Inhale, extend your right leg out to meet the left and exhale, hug your right knee back in. So inhale as you extend, reaching your arms by your ears. Exhale, hug it in. Two more, inhale, exhale, 
Last one, hold your right knee in now and let's just switch legs. So left knee pulls in, exhale, then right knee, exhale. Exhaling each time that you pull the knee in towards your chest, you have six more and five and four, three, two and one. Good job. Hug both knees in, rest your head and maybe turn your head right and left again, releasing any tension. And you know it, we get to do that again on the other side. So place your feet back down, hands behind your head, lift your head and shoulders, chin tucked in. Extend your right leg long now. Exhale, left elbow, right knee. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, back through center. Try to keep your shoulders and your chest lifted as you come back through center, keeping your abdominals working the whole entire time. Last one. Now hold your right leg extended, pull your left knee in towards your chest, then inhale, extend your left leg long to meet your right leg, arms reach overhead, exhale, pull the knee in. So inhale, extend, exhale, pull, inhale, and exhale, two more. Good job, last one and hold your left knee in. Let's go back to those switches. So exhale, switch and switch, pulling your knee in towards your chest. Six more, five, four, keep breathing, three, two, and one. Good job, hug your knees in, rest your head. Hopefully you felt that in your abdominals good job let's give our abs a bit of a break now and come on to our side so coming on to your elbow resting your head in your hand your legs are at a three-quarter bend hips stacked on top of one another let's lift our feet off the floor exhale open your top knee inhale close so exhale open inhale close so this is really great for our glutes we're really getting into the outside of our glutes as well as our hips three more exhaling each time that you open the knee last one now hold your knee open combo inhale close the knee exhale open inhale extend the leg exhale toes close back together keep going knee closes open extend and tap close open extend and tap we do this eight times so you have four more to go really focusing on your breathing here keeping your hips stacked on top of one another and keeping your abdominals engaged so even though we're working our glutes here we want to make sure that we're keeping our Pilates posture, keeping our core nice and strong. Last one. Now let's tap knees and toes. So just alternate tapping your knees and then tapping your toes. Internally rotating through your hip joint and then externally rotating. This is really great for the health of our hip joints as well as our glutes last one hold your knees open flex your feet squeeze your heels together and pulse the leg back and back just for six five four three two and one release good job give that glute a nice little hit and then prop yourself up now onto your forearm your elbow is directly underneath your shoulder your bottom knee can be on the mat lift your hips up into your side arm plank and then exhale lower your hips down so inhale as you come up option to find your full side arm plank with both legs out exhale calm down inhale lift your hips find that long line exhale lower this is really great for the side of our waist
and last one let's hold in our side arm plank reach your top arm up towards the ceiling wrap your arm to your waist and inhale open so exhale wrap inhale open you have three more keep pressing through your shoulder keeping your hips nice and high last one and hold here reach your arm by your ear just for a few seconds nice strong shoulders and abs and release back down good job let's take our legs over now to the other side come down onto your elbow and get ready for that clam series again so legs at a nice three quarter bend keep your feet together and lift your feet up off the mat exhale open the top knee inhale close it down so as you open the knee focus on keeping your hips nice and stacked on top of one another keeping your abdominals nice and engaged and then maybe smiling your way through the burn of this exercise last one hold your knee open inhale close the knee exhale open extend the leg and then tap the toes so inhale close exhale open inhale extend exhale tap you have six more of these remember focusing on keeping your hips nice and still abs engage four more now this side is always a little bit trickier than the first side because your glutes are definitely a little bit more tired than the first time that we did it but we're all in it together so just keep breathing good last one hold your toes together and let's alternate tapping knees and toes so internally rotating your top leg to tap your knees together and then externally rotating to tap your toes you got four more of these Whew, really getting into the outside of your glute good last one hold your knees open flex your feet let's go back to those little pulses so pulse back and back reaching your top arm up to the ceiling you've got four three two and one Woo! good job tap that glute releasing any tension and now come up onto your forearm elbow directly underneath your shoulder lift up into your sidearm plank on your inhale and then exhale lower back down so your knee can be down on the mat or both feet can be out finding your full sidearm plank exhale control the hips down inhale lift exhale lower inhale lift you have three more of these really pressing through your shoulder nice strong shoulder and abs last one now hold in your side arm plank reach your arm up to the ceiling exhale wrap the waist and inhale open exhale wrap inhale open keeping your hips nice and high pressing through your shoulder you have two more last one and hold reach your arm by your ear lift your hips a little bit higher keep breathing keep holding good job release back down very nice job from here let's now come into a straight arm plank so hands underneath shoulders walk your feet back pull your abdominals in towards your spine and tuck your hips under inhale lift your right leg exhale pull your right knee to the left elbow inhale extend it back and set it down other leg inhale exhale pull across the body inhale extend it back and set it down two more inhale exhale pull really getting into our abdominals not that we haven't done enough now from here let's just alternate knees now so pull the right knee across then the left knee eight more eight and seven keep pressing through your shoulders five four so strong three two 
and one good job lower your knees press back to your child's pose and guess what you are done so take this time here in your child's pose to take deep breaths then on your next inhale shift forward to a tabletop arch your spine and look slightly up exhale round your spine gaze towards your navel and press back to child's pose again inhale shift forward arch your spine look slightly up exhale pull your abdominals up towards your spine round your back and press back to child's pose last one inhale shift forward arch your spine and exhale find your neutral spine now inhale reach your left arm up to the ceiling and exhale thread your left arm through the right pressing your left shoulder down into the mat feeling a nice twist through your spine and just breathing into this stretch then press back up and let's switch sides inhale reach your right arm up and exhale thread your right arm through the left feeling a nice twist through your spine and press back up sit your glutes back and let's find a comfortable seated position on our mat sitting up nice and tall inhale reach your right arm up and exhale side bend over to your left looking up towards the ceiling and back through center then exhale take your right arm to the outside of your left knee finding a nice twist looking over your left shoulder and release back through center other side inhale lift arm lifts up and exhale side bend over to your right taking nice deep breaths here then inhale lift your chest exhale twist over your right taking your left hand to the outside of your right knee feeling a nice twist through your spine and release back through center take your hands in front of you now inhale open through your chest and exhale walk your hands forward coming into a forward fold then very slowly walk your hands back sitting up nice and tall let's finish with our hands in prayer and our eyes closed and take one last deep inhale and exhale good job everyone thank you so much for joining me for this full body pilates workout if you enjoyed this workout don't forget to like this video comment in the comment section below maybe share with a friend and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much everyone and see you next time